As the traveller runs down the beach in haste to find the rock pool, he doesn't hear the wise man's last instructions and wise words. It is not about getting, but creating the right conditions for your dreams. Many months pass by and the traveller returns again to the wise man's cave, really cross and annoyed. You see, he couldn't even find the pebble anymore. There were too many other black pebbles in the rock pool. The wise man sits the traveller down and tells him these wise words. Everything you seek already resides within you. But the traveller's too cross. He leaves the cave and he runs back along the beach. So time passes by and the traveller decides to live at the end of the beach and he builds a small shelter at the edge of the rock pool. Sometimes he returns to the rock pool to try and find his black magic pebble. One day, while the traveller is searching for his pebble at the bottom of the rock pool, he sees his reflection staring back at him and the wise man's words resonate inside his head. So, days and months pass by and the traveller eventually gave up on his struggles and lived a more peaceful life by the side of the rock pool. He would build small wooden rafts and children would come down during the holiday season and he'd pull them across the rock pool and they'd pay him a small fee. In the evening he would build amazing sculptures from pebbles and people would throw money into a hat that he'd leave by the side of the pool. His life was filled with more gratitude and he was more aware of just living in the now. Over time, more and more people began to hear about the traveller and his attractions and in the evening time, people would come down and pay him and he would tell them stories about smugglers and shipwrecks. One night, as the traveller slept in his shelter on the beach, there was a terrible storm. The storm was so ferocious, the traveller could hardly sleep. But when he woke in the morning, to sunrise, he found an incredible sight by the side of the rock pool on the beach. The storm had blown a large boat onto the shore. So before long, it's clear that nobody's coming to claim the boat. So the traveller decides to repair it and paint it. And before long, he's living his dream taking travellers out to sea along the shoreline, sharing with them a huge impression of increase, and providing a great service, and he lives in abundance in all areas of life. Now the traveller lived a happy and abundant life. He even built a bigger house by the side of the beach. But one night, he remembered the wise old man and wondered what happened to him. So he travelled back to the cave. He could not find him. Some of the local people had said that he'd moved on some people said that he'd even died. Just before the traveller was going to leave the cave, he noticed behind a pile of rocks a small leather-bound book. He picked up the book and flicked through the pages. It had been well read, but inside he found that the wise man had made notes about all of the wisdom that he'd shared with people. And the traveller decided to take the book back along the beach and make a point of sharing this wisdom with as many people as possible, providing a great service and constantly living in a state of thankfulness. So, what do you think the pebble and the rock pool represented? Well, the pebble was a passion, vision or dream. The rock pool was a subconscious mind. And your level of awareness regarding this great truth will determine your results. So, the big question is, can you change your situations and circumstances? The answer is, yes you can. 